and today's video is a makeup haul, also a skincare haul. Some of this is PR and some of this I got from Sephora on like the Christmas sale, the Black Friday sale, what do we want to call it? I don't know. But I got a bundle of stuff to look at today. So let's start with what is right in front of me. I recently got some PR from Benefit and I'm wearing a lot of it today. I don't think I had ever had this product before. I'm not sure like how old it is but it's the cookie highlighter and it is amazing like I said I've got a lot of it on today which oh my god you guys I also for the first time in years did like a full face of uh, makeup using the luminous like full airbrush makeup oh my god I feel like my foundation and everything looks better than it has in years you guys I'm like choking on my own spit sippy sippy all right, something that I got from Benefit that I'm also using today. It's been a long time since I've used anything other than the NYX like liquid. I think it's like a called a tattoo brow pen or something, but it's been a long time since I've used an eyebrow pencil and I got this precisely my brow. I think I did use this a long time ago, like back when this line came out where like all the Benefit brow products that look like this, you know? So so I'm trying to see which shade. I guess this is just shade one, but one side has a spoolie brush and then the other side is a super precise fine tip pencil. And oh my God, I really love how it looks. You guys, I'm like just trying a lot of stuff lately. If y'all have been watching me for like the past six months, maybe you know, I am on a makeup rekindling my love with it journey. I really got so far away away from doing my makeup with any regularity at all that I feel like I forgot like all of my skills and now I'm like trying to like reteach myself how to do makeup all over again but I'm once again at like baby beginner makeup skills level so it's very exciting y'all have to let me know I feel like a lot of people out there are like that like once 2020 got here I really fully switched to just completely focusing on skincare last product from Benefit I feel I feel like I used this setting spray a very, very long time ago. I'm excited to try it again. This is also PR and it's from their Professional line and it's a setting spray. Let's just see what it's, oh, double cap. Let's see what it smells like. I'm just gonna apply it like perfume. Oh, a little bit just went up my nose. It basically like smells like nothing. Very interesting. All right, something I bought. And this is like a fragrance and in fact, not a cosmetic item, but it is the Lush Body Spray in the shade Snow Fairy. This is their Christmas scent. It's amazing. I think it's technically supposed to smell like cotton candy, but I smell bubble gum and I love it. I love super candied scents. Also, I did not know that like how many people loathe this packaging. I always think it's so cute, but I've seen so many TikToks lately of people saying that they would never buy these fragrances because they hate the packaging. Then again, I love like really kitschy, weird things like this. Also, I literally do not know what happened to my Lush Kitchen subscription box. I know some of y'all have been looking for those videos like November and December. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know what happened to my subscription, but I'm hopefully gonna have that figured out by January. I'm sad I missed like the November and December box, but what happened? I don't know. All right, you guys, more PR from Murad. I am so excited to try this. It's three new products and I just got this the other day. So I was kind of like waiting to unbox it with y'all. It's been two years, two years in the making, but y'all know I love Murad. I really do. It's supposed to restore your skin's Restore your skin's moisture barrier. So we have a hydration serum. We have a hydration cream. And then this that I so carelessly dumped out on the ground, I think, yeah, it is a hydration repair mask. <gasps> that sounds amazing. So yeah, I am very excited to try this. Y'all know my normal staple is all of the Murad products in the blue line. And y'all, I I've been using this since I was like 14 or 15 years old. I do not even remember. I feel like I 
Like I have thoughts lately. Imagine that. Cause I've seen so many people, like so many like super young kids were asking, I guess for like skincare, like drunk elephant and stuff. And I was like, I started using this when I was like 14 years old. It's like anti-aging and also a clarifying cleanser. But you guys, I feel like kind of starting this when I was young, like really made quite a bit of difference. But if you have a different opinion, that's fine too. I'm just saying like, I'm really glad I started using skincare like this when I was younger, but I don't know. I've seen people say like 10, I don't know. I don't know. To each their own. You know what I mean? ColourPop sent this adorable like end of year care package. Going coconuts. Y'all, I forgot how much. I absolutely love this palette. I'll see if I can like insert a photo here so you guys can see the inside. I forgot to grab it because it is what I'm wearing on my eyelids today. If y'all can see through my lashes. I'm also wearing one of the Jelly Much eyeshadow shades like all over my lid but look at all this other cute stuff i'm like so excited comfort colors do y'all know anything about that brand is it trendy i don't know you guys this is like a very very soft shirt and then we have color pop socks i feel like that's very cute and then they sent like some of the other like super popular products i'm looking forward to trying these some of them are definitely like my all-time faves at ColourPop and some of them I'm not sure if I've tried before like this blush in Flamingo I feel like I'm definitely gonna love this one but I'm not sure if I've ever tried it before this I definitely do think I had at some point but look at this this is like their OG super shock shadows and this is in the shade Ritz then we have one of my absolute lifetime favorite ColourPop products I hope they never discontinue these the bff lippy pencils i might be wearing this shade today honestly although i feel like my lipstick maybe turned out a little weird because i thought it would be so funny so quirky to try that peeling lip stain again i did not know what i was gonna do today if i was gonna go with like this kind of lip or if i was gonna go with like a red lip but then i put on that peel off lip stain and i kind of forgot that it was like a very intense color so I don't know but I think this may have been the lip liner pencil it's one of the shades of BFF I think BFF 2 is technically my most favorite because that kind of goes better with the grayish lipsticks that I love so much um so I, I don't I honestly don't know what I'm wearing today BFF 1 BFF 2 but I feel like they redid this packaging because I feel like the pencils used to be white with just a little end cap that showed you what the shade was and I feel like that much fancier now. And then this is a lip oil and I feel like I need to try these. I'm not sure if I ever have. You guys know I just kind of think that lip gloss personally is like Satan's best friend but a lip oil I might want to try that. So this is in the shade Skinny Dip and oh it smells good. Almost like a vanilla scent. I don't know you guys. I know lip oils have been like very trendy lately and I kind of feel like I I need to at least try it once. The glossy look of it makes me nervous. All right. Oh, I can't get my little phone. <gasps> y'all, this was sent to me in Swamp Family Mail and I turned it into a necklace and I love it. Have y'all seen the dumb phone trend lately? I really feel like I want to... <laughs> <laughs> do that people are actually like getting retro phones and like using them it's like supposed to be the opposite of a smartphone and I'm like oh my god I need that then I could maybe actually like read a book or something oh okay I have um other PR I forgot so I think I'm gonna try one of these myself and give the other one to dog man he needs a moisturizer lately so I don't know I don't know which one I'm gonna keep which one I'm gonna give to him but it's skin fix I've never tried this brand before but they were so sweet to send these over to me to try. So one is a Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream Nourishing Rich Hydrator. And then the other one is a Skin Barrier Restoring Gel Cream. Am I? Oh, okay. Lightweight Nourishing Hydrator. That very much sounds similar but different. And so yeah, let's see. I think the packaging, oh, the packaging is like <gasps> Drunk Elephant. Also Bubble has similar packaging to to this as well. I love it. I really do. I feel like it's more sanitary, which you know, that's my favorite. Look at them. They're so cute. 
Ooh, and I can hear the springs. Look, I'm gonna click them for you so you can also hear the springs. Look. Do you hear those springs? I think that was now the last PR. I do think everything else I bought, but we'll see. I kind of just like gathered everything and threw it on the floor here. I got Tatcha stuff. <gasps> My hair loop. So one thing I'm gonna have to insert a photo of because I tossed it down the laundry chute, but I got the slip Tatcha. They did like a gift set and you guys, I am obsessed with the slip pillowcases. They are so comfortable and I really do feel like they make a huge difference in both like hair care and skincare versus like sleeping on like just cotton pillowcases or something. But they did a special collector's set with Tatcha. They did a like a little collab, which was amazing because the product that came with it, I actually was running out of and I needed to restock. This is like my day, part of my day tear, day tear, daytime skincare routine. It's the Silk Serum. And I actually started using this because y'all, they discontinued one of my all time favorite Tatcha products, which it was in a purple bottle. I literally forget what it was called, but I was obsessed with it. I feel like I used to put it in so many favorites videos back in the day. This is called the Silk Serum and it is truly amazing. I have about five pumps left in my old one. So before I completely open this one. So this is what came with the pillowcase and the slip pillowcase. It is a gorgeous shade of purple. It's like this shade. So I bought that and oh, I did a restock of this as well, which is the Ageless Revitalizing Neck Cream. So I use this all over my neck and like my decolletage area, you know, anti-aging. This is also part of my nighttime skincare routine. And you guys, when I bought this, I guess they were doing like a super magical bonus give you some items sale because all these other items I got like they were just in the box like I didn't order them but I'm so excited because like these are old favorites I also used to use these all the time they are the Tatcha beauty papers like the oil blotting papers I know they had some that had like little gold flecks in them yeah these are them y'all I'm so shocked like it has like actual real gold flecks in it I don't, can you see the gold flex? So it's been a long time since I've had these and I'm kind of excited to have them again. Free! All right, this I'm also like very excited to try. I think I had one of these a long time ago, but it's a luminous deep hydration lifting face mask. This was also a nice little bonus item. This whole thing. I don't even really know how to use this. A gentle cleanser melts away impure and waterproof makeup. Oh my god, maybe I should try this today. It's called the Camellia Cleansing Oil. So very, very cute. That almost looks like a travel size. I love that because this is also, I had one of these like a long time ago and I think it is so cute. It's the Travel Tatcha. It's an indigo overnight repair. I actually really, really like this product and I don't know why I stopped purchasing it because it's honestly amazing. They have a whole indigo line that I really do love. And now I'm thinking maybe I need to like repurchase some of those. All right, you guys, a box from Sephora. I miss doing Sephora hauls, but honestly I stopped because I felt like I was like getting really boring and I was just like restocking stuff all the time. And like I said, I've really been deeply in the skincare stuff. So I'm just like, oh, there's like not really anything to ever <laughs> swatch much like today. Well, at least I'm like wearing a lot of the stuff that I showed y'all today. So, you you know, also somehow in this Sephora box is my popples that I bought off of eBay. Do you guys remember popples? If so, uh, you're probably ancient like me. I don't remember this popples name though. Can you identify this popple? Also, I have two Shrek heads. These did not come from Sephora. You guys, we've just turned into a random haul now. These are like vintage. They can be keychains, phone straps car antenna things. I wanted to so boldly try and turn one into a croc charm, but we'll see. We'll see because they're vintage. So I'm kind of scared about losing or destroying something all the way back from 2007. All right, you guys. Also some shoelaces. 
that I got from Amazon. Beautiful. This product, which I forgot to grab, I'm also wearing it today. I talk about this all the time. I restock this all the time. It is the world's most greatest, greatest mascara that has ever been invented in the world's most adorable packaging. I will put a picture of it so you guys can see the packaging. It's the It Cosmetics, what is this even called? Lash Blowout. And it's a collab that they do with Dry Bar. That's another brand that I absolutely love. Their hair products and styling tools. But yes, I love this mascara mascara every couple of months. I repurchase one. Uh, up next, something that I hope I'm gonna love as much as the sample. My last Sephora haul, I chose this as like one of the samples. It's the replica under the lemon trees. It's supposed to smell like 1987. Very exciting. I loved the sample, you guys. I feel like normally when I get like little samples, like I'll spray it once and like, like forget about it, you know? This I literally used the whole dang sample. So I was like, okay, I guess that means I really like it and I should at least get a small bottle of it. You guys, I keep trying to commit to like not buying full size perfumes anymore unless it is like something I am obsessed with just because I feel like I would rather have a ton of options versus like spending so much on a few large bottles. Maybe that makes sense. I don't know. I feel like very rare like our brands making what I feel like are super cute bottles like Moschino. God, yeah, this does just smell amazing. It's a very like manly scent, you know? It reminds me of the, what is that? Midsummer dream, like the smell from Yankee Candles that everybody says like, oh, that smells like men's cologne. It smells like men and lemons. And I love that. Like so many times in my life, I actually buy cologne versus perfumes just cause I kind of like that more like ugh, scent. I don't even know what I'm implying there. Um, all right, you guys, something I've never tried, but I sure am looking forward to it. Uh, Nutrafol, have y'all heard of this? I don't know. This is supposed to be a root purifier, a scalp microbiome shampoo. And you guys, I feel like whatever is going on on my head, my microbiome, okay. <laughs> <laughs> something is not going good up here on the scalp area. And I feel like it must be because I do use too many styling products. I use like mousses and powders and dry shampoo and all of that stuff that I probably shouldn't use quite so much of. So I feel like I need to really like all right, you guys, back to the skin. I've wanted to try this forever. It's a face ball and I'm really looking for y'all. Oh my God, face gem. I've never bought any of their products before. I really do not know if this is a gimmick or not. It's literally a yoga ball for your face. I do not know. <laughs> But I saw one of my favorite beauty YouTubers the other day. She was like using it while she was steaming her face. And I was like, okay, I want to try. It does smell kind of peculiar. It smells kind of plasticky. Big shock. It is a plastic ball. Also, you guys, I'm starting to wonder like, was this a return? Because I literally did not cut this tape tab off. And I... <laughs> Did somebody like use this and return this? You tell me, should I be alarmed? I don't know. All right, you guys, a repurchase, something that I have been missing. I honestly love this brand. I use so many products from them. I have like a caffeinated body lotion that I love. I use their lip repair cream like every day. And I used to use these and then I just stopped and I don't know why. They are toner pads, but they're called facial radiance pads. They are so incredibly refreshing. And I feel like on days when I'm like lazier with my skincare, it's so much easier to just like have a pad like preloaded with a high quality toner and you just, oh, you know, and you've toned your face. All right, you guys, another skincare staple. Cannot live without it. I don't know how many of these I've gone through. I don't know how many of these I've 
repurchased the Derma Logica Sound Sleep Cocoon. This is my nighttime cream. Like what would we even call this? You guys, transform skin overnight. Yes, it does. And also it's very relaxing because it has a very light lavender scent to it. And it is just absolutely amazing. If you use this diligently every single night, you will see such a huge difference. It's hard to even describe because like literally I can just tell like when I'm using it every night and when I'm not and like just the surface of my skin looks so much better. I must have gotten like new butt cream. Did I? I don't remember buying this but I do love this brand. Actually the last two products are from this brand. The other product y'all have probably seen me talk about a thousand times. I use them every single day of my life. So yeah this is definitely to help tone the legs. At least that's what the box says. I've never used this before. Right now I'm using Frank Body, I think. They do the coffee body scrubs too, which I love, but they have a product which is absurdly named Booty Drops and you put booty drops in a cup of coffee lotion. I'm just gonna have to put some photos in because maybe what I'm saying does not make any sense. So I thought, hey, maybe let's take a break when my booty drops run out. Maybe the product is literally called booty drops. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even joking right now. So yeah, I just kind of feel like why not try this? You know, I'm big into the anti-aging stuff lately, I guess. All right, you guys, last thing I bought and then we're on to some samples. And I bet every time I look down, y'all can see the massive amount of clip-in extensions that I have going on today. Uh, so this, I always get this set, but I honestly have never tried this product, but literally you just get it for free. So I always buy this for the face and eye patches. And then I just like get this for free. I recently saw somebody say that you can't use this with makeup though. I kind of just want to try it. Like I have seen people on TikTok use it. And like, if you have any lines on your face and you put this on, it is supposed to like instantly but temporarily like you know so I'm kind of curious to try it because I do have like these lines like guys like these lines I just always catch myself making this expression you know in between the eyebrows so I'm just kind of curious you know and I'm also like you know doing that a lot so I have lines here lines here if I put this on my face will they just like temporarily not be there maybe I should try it for science but these are the things that I am obsessed with. I use these and the eye patches every single day as part of my daytime skincare routine. I was not running out of the eye patches yet, so I didn't need to repurchase those, but I did need to repurchase these. I feel like I am a little bit more diligent using the face patches versus the eye patches. Sometimes my eyes are just like too sensitive and I kind of just can't stand like anything being around my eyes. So some days I do skip the eye patches. Arr but I never skip these. You can get kind of creative with these patches because basically there's a straight patch in here that's kind of like straight but oval shaped. And then there's two curved patches. So you can technically use these on the sides of your eyes or I literally put them right here in between my forehead. That's where I put the straight flat oval one. And then I put the two curved ones on either side of my mouth. And I usually do these and the eye patches at the same time, but they are amazing. Amazing. I get asked on snap a lot if I think that they really make a difference or not and once again this is something that if you do it every single day with consistency you're gonna notice a big big difference the more I skip the more I notice that they don't work as well because I'm not doing it every single day like that's just kind of how skincare works is like you have to do it every single day for like at least 30 days in order to see any actual improvement and I feel like you see a lot of these products now like this one probably yeah see um they say like literally after eight weeks so you're not gonna see any butt results until like eight weeks later I've even seen some products now advertise like after your second jar you're gonna see these results so it's kind of like with skincare like this you're kind of like in it to win it you know all right two samples let's see what they are this is the Charlotte Tilbury oh my god I used to always say Charlotte 
Tilbury, just like that. It's been forever since I've used any Charlotte Tilbury makeup and now I feel like I'm missing out. Charlotte Tilbury, Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. Oh, look at that. So I guess you can shade match yourself and then you would know what to get, but this is kind of exciting. Okay, for a Superstar Glow, apply all over your face as a flawless filter or on top of foundation if you want extra coverage. That sounds intriguing. And I always try and get a perfume sample. Literally, if I could just pick all perfume samples, that's what I would pick. So I don't know anything about Versace Dylan Blue, but it was the only perfume sample choice at the time. So that is what I got. So let's see if they can convince me <laughs> to get the full size of this. So it's supposed to have the top notes of Granny Smith Apple, Middle Rose Elegante, and Dry Down Musk, and Stry Styrax. What is that? That literally sounds like an Ultraman monster or something. I don't know. Let's see. I already sprayed the 1987 lemons. Oh, I really do smell that apple. And I honestly love that. I love like very fruity scents. I don't know. I feel like I like a lot of stuff. Like I love like very candy-like scents, like the bubblegum scent. I love very fruity scents, like things that smell like cherries. And I also love like very musk type scents. So I don't know, you guys, I'm kind of just all over the place. Like I like a little bit of everything and I like to change my perfume a lot. Dang, this kind of has like a vintage smell to it. I don't know why I'm like saying that, but yeah, I really actually like this. Am I gonna buy a travel size Dylan Blue? Maybe. All right, you guys, that's it. I feel like this was a longer video, but I had a lot of fun things to show you guys today. And I know a lot of y'all, I've, I've seen some comments lately saying y'all miss um, hauls and PR hauls and all kinds of good stuff like that. I feel like I'm losing my voice. So yeah, hopefully for those of y'all who have been missing that, here it is today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. I'll be back again very, very soon. And I love y'all so much. Bye!